All right, let's really dive deep into what's happening with the Apple Mac Mini, because this little box suddenly has a much bigger story than most people were expecting. For years, the Mac Mini has lived in an unusual corner of Apple's lineup, never quite grabbing the spotlight like the iPhone or the MacBook Pro, yet somehow managing to survive generation after generation. And now, thanks to rumors surrounding the M5 Mac Mini, unexpected product cycles, and aggressive pricing on the M4 models, the humble Mini is arguably one of the most exciting Macs Apple has in its catalog. So, if you're wondering whether to wait for the M5 Mac Mini, grab a discounted M4 Mac Mini, or even hold out for something entirely new in Apple's desktop roadmap, let's unpack everything together. The place of the Mac Mini in Apple's ecosystem. To understand why the Mac Mini is suddenly interesting again, you need to look at Apple's desktop lineup as a whole. The MacBook Pro is the poster child for professional workflows. It's the machine that YouTubers, filmmakers, and photographers use to cut their videos and edit their raw photos. The iMac is Apple's design-forward, all-in-one computer. It looks great on a desk, it's colorful, and it's often the computer that casual users or families end up with. The Mac Studio and Mac Pro are the serious workhorses aimed at high-end professionals. With Apple Silicon scaled up for maximum performance, and then there's the Mac Mini. It's never been the loudest or flashiest, but that's exactly why people love it. It's modular, flexible, and affordable. You can plug in your own monitor, your own peripherals, and build a setup that works for you. It can act as a home server, a compact office workstation, a music production hub, or even as the heart of a living room media center. Over the years, it's become a sort of Swiss army knife of computing, and Apple fans who understand its value have kept it alive with a loyal cult following. A history of neglect. And revival for a long time, the Mac Mini was practically ignored. In the Intel era, Apple sometimes let the Mac Mini sit unchanged for three or four years. It became the forgotten stepchild of the Mac family. For example, the 2014 Intel Mac Mini went years without a refresh, and many assumed Apple was quietly phasing it out. In 2018, Apple finally updated it, but by then, the machine had slipped far behind its competition. Even the 2020 Intel-based Mini felt like it was released just to fill a gap before Apple Silicon arrived, then came the M1 chip in 2020, and suddenly everything changed. The Mac Mini wasn't just relevant again. It was a powerful, affordable entry point into the Apple Silicon era. With the M2 things stabilized, and with the M4 redesign, Apple actually gave the Mac Mini more attention than usual. That's why today's rumors about the M5 Mac Mini are so surprising. Historically, Apple has been slow with the Mini, but in the Apple Silicon age, the Mini seems to be evolving alongside the rest of the lineup. The mystery of the missing M4 Mac Mini video. Now here's where the speculation really started heating up. Recently, Apple quietly removed the M4 Mac Mini launch video from its official YouTube channel. At first glance, that might not seem like a big deal. After all, companies prune old videos all the time. But here's the strange part. The M4 MacBook Pro video is still up. The M4 iMac video is still up. Only the Mac Mini video disappeared. That small but unusual detail sent. Apple rumor sites and analysts into overdrive. Could Apple be preparing to announce the M5 Mac Mini much earlier than anyone expected? Could this be the fastest turnover in Mac Mini history? Historically, the Mini doesn't get updated this fast. Sometimes it went years without a refresh. But the Apple Silicon roadmap seems to be pushing Apple toward rapid, iterative upgrades. And the Mac Mini may now be keeping pace with the MacBook Pro and iMac in terms of release cadence. What we know about the M5 Mac Mini, so? What exactly is being reported? Several reliable insiders, including analysts like Ming-Chi Kuo, have pointed to device identifiers showing that Apple is testing new Mac Mini models powered by the upcoming M5 chip. Not only that, but there are also signs of an M5 Pro variant, which suggests Apple will continue its two-tier strategy just like it did with the M4 generation. This isn't a huge shock. Apple's current silicon strategy revolves around scaling chips across tiers. M-series base chips for entry-level models, M, Pro chips for enhanced performance, M, Max for heavy creative workloads, DEM. Ultra for absolute top-end machines like the Mac Studio. The Mac Mini already launched in both standard M4 and M4 Pro variants, so it's natural to expect M5 and M5 Pro versions. But the surprising part is how quickly this seems to be happening. What to expect from the M5 chip? The big question, of course, is performance. How much faster will the M5 Mac Mini really be compared to the M4? 
According to current reports, the M5 will be manufactured on TSMC's 3NP process, an improved version of the 3NMIR technology used in the M4. In practical terms, this means better efficiency. The M5 will likely consume less power for the same workload. Improved thermals. Expect cooler operation, which is especially useful in a compact desktop like the Mini Moderate Performance Gains. Estimates suggest around 15-25% faster performance compared to the M4. This isn't a revolutionary leap like the jump from Intel to M1 was. It's more of an incremental step, similar to what we saw moving from M2 to M4. Still, for users in demanding workflows, think 8K video editing, 3D rendering, scientific simulations, or heavy multitasking, that performance bump could make a real difference. Who should upgrade to the M5 Mac Mini? This brings us to the real-world question. Should you actually upgrade if you already own an M4 Mac Mini? For everyday users, people who rely on their machines for office work, coding, web browsing, or even light creative projects, the answer is probably no. A 20% performance boost isn't going to radically change your experience. But for professionals in demanding fields, the story is different. If you're pushing your mini to the absolute limits, exporting massive video projects, working with 3D software, or running multiple virtual environments, the M5 Pro Mac Mini might be worth every penny. You're essentially getting workstation class performance in a box small enough to fit in one hand. Why the M4 Mac Mini might be the real winner. Here's the twist. The launch of the M5 might actually make the M4 Mac Mini the best deal in Apple's entire lineup. Already we've seen discounts popping up. The base M4 Mini, which launched at $599, has dropped closer to $490 at some retailers. That's astonishing for a machine less than a year old. And don't forget, the M4 wasn't just a chip refresh. It was a complete redesign, the first major one since 2010. Apple made it smaller, sleeker, and added front-facing USB-C ports for the first time. On the Pro models, it even introduced Thunderbolt 5 support, which future-proofs connectivity for years to come. So when the M5 arrives, the M4 will suddenly look like an incredible bargain, offering nearly all the performance most people need at a much lower price. The bigger picture, Apple's Silicon Roadmap. The Mac Mini doesn't exist in isolation. The M5 rollout will hit multiple Apple products around the same time. The iPad Pro 2025 is expected to adopt the M5. Following its big OLED redesign last year, the MacBook Pro 2026 will get M5, M5 Pro, and M5 Max chips. Though insiders say the real design overhaul won't happen until the M6 generation. The iMac 2026 is also likely to join the M5 club but its colorful redesign is still too fresh to replace. So expect the same chassis with upgraded silicon. This pattern shows us that Apple is now treating the Mac Mini as a first-class citizen in its lineup, updating it in lockstep with the MacBook Pro and iMac. That's a huge shift from the days when the Mini was neglected for years at a time. Should you buy the M5 Mac Mini? Here's my bottom line. If you're the type who always wants the latest and greatest, who loves pushing your machine to the max, or who just enjoys owning the newest Apple Silicon, then the M5 Mac Mini will absolutely be worth it. You'll get better efficiency, faster speeds, and longer software support. But if you're a value-focused buyer, the M4 Mac Mini is about to become a steal. Once M5 launches, discounts will deepen, and you'll be able to grab one of the most capable compact desktops Apple has ever made, at a fraction of its original price. Either way, the Mac Mini's future looks brighter than it has in decades. No longer an afterthought, it's now a central part of Apple's evolving desktop strategy.